Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to play around with VR and Keynote and see if we can get this 360 view going. So I'm going to create a new slide, but the thing about VR is we need a 360 view. So we're going to go up and go to Document Setup, and we're going to go to Customize Our Size, and we're going to make our dimensions 2 to 1. So in this case, it's going to be 2,000 by 1,000. You could make it 4 by 2, um, but it needs to be kind of 2 to 1. And you can see there that it's rescaled. A lot of people don't know that about Keynote. You can rescale your size of your slides. We'll delete that and we'll bring in a Keynote shape. We'll go with the world. Uh, I'm gonna choose one that's kind of like the full globe that's kind of been flattened out a little bit here. So we'll go with this one. And I'm just going to resize it to make it actually fit. Now. I'm also gonna press the paintbrush and actually turn off the proportion so that I can kind of stretch it a bit. Um, and that's fine to do because when it gets wrapped around something, it's gonna change those kind of that look, that dimension anyway, so don't stress over it. We'll change the color of the, uh, the countries and continents and we'll maybe change the background of the slide to make that a little bit different effect. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, and then we just need to export it. Now it doesn't have to be a PNG or anything specific. We'll just make it a high quality JPEG at this stage. Um, that should do. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in Google Tour um, Creator um, and the website will come up. Um, I think I might be already in one. So I might have to just do some quick changes here. It's poly.google.com. Um, let me just quickly uh, get out of this because I'm already in a tour. So just bear with me. It's called Tour Creator. It's by Google. Um, and if I do a quick revamp back here to the home page, I should be right. Okay, so we're back at the home page. We create a, a new tour. Uh, let's just give it a name like test at the moment. We're not going to publish this. This will be unlisted because we're just kind of testing it. We'll say test as well. We do need to put a kind of an image in there that's like the cover photo. It's kind of a requirement. So we'll just put that same image. It seems to work. And down the bottom, we'll just press create. Now here, um, as you can see, we've got lots of different options here and we can actually add a scene. Um, I might do it a different way. Actually, we might go back. If I actually go back and delete that, uh, because it looks like it's coming up with another scene there. So I'll just come back a little bit and we'll redo that. I'll just bin that. Yep, we wanna delete that. We'll do that again, we'll go to add scene and we'll click on the upload at the top. So at the top we press upload, select 360 degree image, which is not really, but it's kind of like a two to one ratio. So it seems to work okay. I will select that image and we'll go to add scene. And there it is there. Now we can add a whole range of different things. We're not gonna go into that. We'll just publish it at the moment. We'll make it unlisted because I just wanna give you that perspective of what it looks like in VR with a 360. So I'm, I'm doing this all on an iPad. So if you actually hold it up now, if I press done and actually view tour, I can actually hold my iPad up uh, dependent on my internet connection here, which is a little bit slower. And I can actually kind of move around. Obviously it's a 360 image, so I haven't got depth, but what I do have is this perspective of being able to move my iPad around to look at the different places. Now, obviously it's not built for 360, it's gonna be slightly different, but I hope this kind of gives you the effect of what we can actually start to do in regard to VR and kind of viewing our keynote docs in different kind of ways. And it kind of adds things up a little bit. Really cool effect. Um, I'll give some more tutorials on how to actually change this and do a little bit better, maybe uh, looking at Photoshop and how to insert images. But I hope that's just a way of using Keynote in a completely new way. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.